Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing a Kali Linux VM in Proxmox. To get started, navigate to Kali.org and copy the download URL for the installation ISO. Then navigate to your Proxmox web UI and get logged in. Expand the Proxmox node name from the left navigation, then select the target storage device where we're going to download the installation ISO. Select ISO images, download from a URL, and paste the URL for the Kali Linux installation ISO. Then click download. Once the download completes successfully, close the dialog window. Then right click the Proxmox node name and select Create VM. Give the VM a unique ID and name, then click Next. Select the Kali Linux installation ISO, then click Next. Leave the defaults on the System tab, then click Next. Set the target storage device and set the disk size to at least 30GB, then click Next. On the CPU tab, set CPU cores to 2 and the type to Host then click Next. Set the memory to 4096 or 4 gigabytes, then click Next. Leave the defaults on the Network tab, then click Next. Review the summary, then click Finish to create the VM. Once the VM is created, select it from the left navigation menu, then click the Start button at the top right of the screen and select Console so we can see the visual output. Press Enter at the Boot menu to select Graphical Install. Select the language, then click Continue. Select your location, then click Continue. Select a keyboard layout, then click Continue. Enter a host name, then click Continue. Optionally, enter a domain name, then click Continue. Enter a full name for the new user, then click Continue, followed by a username for the new user. Enter and confirm a password for the user account. Select a time zone, then click Continue. Select the option for Guided Use Entire Disk, then select the QMU Hard Disk and all files in one partition. Click Continue on the Summary page, then select Yes to confirm writing the changes to disk, then click Continue. Wait while the installer copies the base system files to the virtual disk. When prompted, select the additional software you'd like to install, then click Continue. When prompted to install the Grub bootloader, select Yes. Then select the Dev SDA device and click Continue. Once the installation completes, click Continue to reboot the VM. Wait while Kali Linux boots for the first time. At the login screen, log in with the username and password set during the installation. Once the desktop environment loads, launch a terminal. We'll start by running sudo apt update to update the software repositories. Then we'll use apt install to install the QMU guest agent. With the QMU guest agent package installed, we'll shut down the VM. Back in the Proxmox web UI, select hardware from the left navigation, then double click the CD DVD drive and select do not use any media and click OK. Now select options and double click the QMU guest agent option. Check the box to enable it, then click OK. Then start the VM and go back to the console. Log back in using the username and password set during installation. Welcome to Kali Linux, running virtualized as a Proxmox VM.